Okay, dokie. <laughs> Uh, this is build episode number five, and it's insulation part two. The, um, I actually wasn't expecting it, but then looking at the last video and seeing what was going on, I had a few loose ends to take care of. So that's what's in this video. And um, I add another layer of insulation to the roof. And, um, well, that's it. So hope you enjoy it. Just a note. See the two colors? The yellow one is uh, from the blue can, and the white is from the black can. The white one expands to a bigger size, um, and it's easier to work with. It's easier to trim off. This one's a bugger to trim off. But maybe it's better quality. <sighs> Done trimming it. Now something to note. Doing a spray foam and trimming off the little bubbles that come off the end with an exacto knife. Probably not the smartest idea. So learn from me learn on this vehicle an exacto knife you're inevitably going to scratch up the surface paint and afterwards you'd have to go and spray in all those surfaces with rust paint or something like that um probably best maybe just to like peel it off or get really good with the application and just do it as flat as you possibly can um maybe there's a trick to it playing with the product as it's going in or slightly after it's gone in to be able to flatten it out. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting up just bubble wrap. And the reason I'm doing this is because number one, it's free. I got a bunch of it. Um, but I'm looking at my supply and I might need to buy more now that I've started because I folded it over. Um, maybe I don't need to fold it over. Maybe I just do a single layer, but folding it over gives it a nice fill. So these panels are not quite uh, enough insulation in the sense that there's still gonna be a bit of a gap here. So I'm gonna sandwich an, a layer of material in there. Now the other theory about bubble wrap is that while it doesn't provide the best source of insulation it provides some insulation but it's not very much number one it's free second of that if you put reflectix here as opposed to this you're really getting the same thing as this because reflectix is essentially bubble wrap with a film of um, just mylar reflective material put on it as well and when that's pressed up against something, it kind of loses that its ability to reflect anything. Uh, unless it's like exposed in here and you can see it on the inside of the van, which <laughs> I don't want that. Um, so all this is getting covered up. It's sandwiched between this foam. It's going to be sandwiched between probably a ceiling, I'm thinking quarter inch ply. So I'm putting bubble wrap up. I tell you as a perfectionist, sometimes I really am. Here, let me adjust that camera. <laughs> I'm also a bit of a goof too. So.
moving on to the front piece and I'm gonna have enough for the entire thing. <clears throat> Don't mind the plumber's butt. I would call this a van butt. Is extra. I had the perfect amount. <laughs> that kind of thing I take as like being a, a good omen. throughout the day. And most of that's just gonna go straight through my bladder. But I didn't follow that drink all through the day thing, so that's Cersei. Hold 
Okay, uh, not the greatest video, but just closing up the day. Just leaving. And it's uh, 10 minutes to two. Man, uh, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> It's uh, 6.30, no, it's 10 to 7. So back here. Oh, I gotta need to nap today. Oh. That was, uh, that was pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I had fun with the edit on that one, it was pretty cool. Um, anyway, the uh, there was a little bit of a scene back there where I was putting this light up on the um, the top of the roof there with tape and that sort of thing and I actually used that thing for my light in here before I had any of the electrical work done and before I had these puck lights done so anyway that was that um the next episode in the build series is going to be the um I think it's a bunch of chassis work actually so it's getting into replacing the front struts and the brakes and all that kind of stuff um I'm not sure if there's going to be more than that to it, but it looks like that's what the footage is that's coming up next. So eventually I'll get into the technical stuff, which is going to be the heater and that sort of thing. I'm just not exactly sure when that's going to be. So what I'm going to do is try and speed up the edits and get the build series moving out a little bit faster and um, catch you up to some of that technical stuff. Because I know some of that's kind of interesting to, to some of you guys that are especially if you're putting a diesel heater in your own van, you're kind of curious what I would do. Um, and so uh, it's a pretty cool install though. It's a, it, it, it involved a, some finesse, but, uh, but it's good. So, <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. So I'm gonna see you later, say it there and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now guys, take care.